Hey everyone. It's always very difficult starting videos for some reason. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, so today I wanted to share with you one of my 2017 goals, which I might have mentioned, which is to finish all my unfinished drawings and or projects. And I have a bunch of those. You know that feeling when you get when you're in the supermarket and there's just way too many choices for something you're looking at and you just stand there and you have no idea which one to choose? That's kind of how I feel with all the projects that I have. So any sort of insight onto which one I should focus on first would really help me move forward on this goal. I'll do it regardless, but it might just take me longer. If you could help me choose between the five projects that I selected today, even though I have way more, that would already be an amazing step. Why don't I show you what I've got? So, one of the first projects is a drawing that I made in my sketchbook. I think it was pretty much around the time that I created that boat story that I shared with you on Patreon. As you might know, it's one of my secret projects that I don't want to make public until I've illustrated all the drawings for it. I was thinking it would be a really good starting point maybe for that story. It's got a lot of space, hazy, kind of background where you're not sure if what you're seeing is cities or mountains. And then there's this little boat in the front. And I wanted the boat to be a little bit more complex, so it might become kind of like a pirate ship or something like that. The second project started also out as a sketch. The same idea of traveling. I think there's something really interesting with the notion of traveling in the sense of discovering new things and new places and gaining new insights. And also the idea of traveling inwards. Because when you travel inwards, there are all these little nuggets, these little seedlings of ideas that can be so transformative in terms of your life and your thoughts and allowing you to gain new perspectives, new ideas, and transforming your own behaviors or thought patterns. That's something that I find fascinating. That's kind of one of the ideas that's in this image. There are all these little kind of stars or bubbles that are coming from the depths of the depths of the ocean. And then they suddenly start rising, floating upwards, and then finally emerging out of the water to pollinate new places, to create new galaxies maybe, or new islands. I made a second one. As you can tell, it's exactly the same sort of composition, but in this one I haven't yet added the boat or the emerging seedling stars. Another one, also this idea of little seedlings or cells or thoughts or stars. This one's more abstract, but I had the idea of creating a little creature, perhaps a sleeping creature, something like a fox or a wolf. Something soothing and peaceful in this corner here, as though it's covered in a sort of blanket of snow, blanket of seedlings. Something a little bit more recent, you've seen maybe my series of weavings on Instagram or Facebook. I actually turned some of these weavings into an accordion book, which is also called a Leporello. I sold that one actually quite quickly after I made the first one because I was at an event and I literally just finished it. But I have enough prints to make two more. There's some that are more literal, they really are fabric. It was kind of this idea of our lives being a collection of threads and that each of our decisions is one of those threads and we weave these paths and sometimes they get ripped and torn open and shredded but there's still beauty in that ruggedness, in that rawness. Then I also have some other more abstract ones, like this one. You know that feeling when there's too much going on in your life or there's too many things that you're thinking about, you can't quite get to sleep and you're kind of tossing and turning in bed and there's this thought and that thought and you keep jumping from one to the next and you can't seem to sort of settle down and let them go. This is one of those weavings that I felt was kind of representative of that state of mind and then trying to acknowledge that and being all right with the knots that it creates in our minds. In doing so, it can help us actually to reconnect with ourselves and follow the next thread that we need to address. This is an example of the beginning of one of these books. You can see the red thread that I used to bind these together. So as an accordion book, it would have a bunch of other ones. And so that's one of the other projects that I was thinking I could finalize. I also made another weaving that kind of opens up the idea of the weavings by introducing other elements. So in this one, the idea of stars, of galaxies be being behind them. There's a story that I read when I was a kid and I don't remember who it was written by or 
what it was called, but it was about these three women. I think it might be a Greek myth. These three women who were goddesses and they would thread people's lives. It was kind of like they, they would follow the threads of people's lives and they could also snip them and decide, oh, okay, this is the end of this person's life. But what I really liked about the image was this idea that we're all connected in a sense and that pulling on some threads will have an impact on the others, that we can influence each other, that even if we feel and we are unique threads in this tapestry of our lives, we are also fundamentally connected to each other. And so in this image, I kind of wanted to represent that with the idea of the stars behind us, because obviously these women or goddesses lived in the sky. Um, but also there's a house, so the idea of coming home to ourselves. Those are the five projects that I kind of singled out. Even just looking at those five, I'm like, oh, I should do that one. Or no, I should do this one. So I'd love to know which one you're actually interested in seeing finished first, so then I can share it with you. Other projects that I have in store right now, one of the things, one of the many jobs that helps me pay my bills in addition to Patreon is proofreading. So I have a contract that I'm working on right now, and that's why I haven't been drawing much in the past week and a half. So that's one thing that I want to finish so I can start getting onto other stuff. I have an artist residency that I'd love to apply to, but it means that I need to figure out a way to like kind of squeeze that in. Also working on my new projects, finalizing one or multiple of these projects, also making a new Skillshare class, making more Patreon videos, and sharing all the things that I do with you. That's it. I hope you liked this one, and let me know what you think. Bye.